Unfortunately, this episode was dominated almost entirely by flashbacks. It tried to be sneaky about it by making it about letters that Asta sent back to the village, but I could see right through what this episode truly was. A flashback episode. We did get a few new scenes this episode, one of which caught me off guard. You can probably tell which scene I'm talking about since I made it the thumbnail in the background picture. I really didn't expect to see a bunch of villagers strung up dead with vines going right through their bodies. So I guess that means Asta and Yuno really didn't get there in time. Which, while sad for the dead villagers, it does add a sense of realism that not everybody can be saved. After the flashbacks were finally over, Asta noticed that his adopted father was dying from poison. So he tried to save him by touching him with his sword so he could dispel the magic like he's done in the past. But the poison has already done its damage, so it didn't work. It then seemed like the father died, but all of a sudden the sword Licht was using came out of Asta's grimoire. So I think it's pretty clear that it's going to save the father somehow. If it doesn't, and the father still dies, I'll be genuinely shocked. When Asta touches the sword, he seems to get a bunch of flashbacks from Licht, and his demon form activates while he's screaming in pain. And of course, right when it's getting to the good part, the episode ends. Thanks, flashbacks, for wasting our time just so you could blue ball us right at the end. Well, since they skimped out on us with giving us new content this episode, I'm going to skimp out on my review and end it here. It's not like I have much new stuff to talk about anyways, and I don't think I need to bother talking about the flashbacks. The only thing I have to mention about the flashbacks is the one where he fights against the crazy laser dude, and how it reminded me how weird the animation was that episode. I'm not sure if I should like it, or if I should hate it. I kind of like some of the stuff they did in that fight, but I think they kind of went too far in some places. Now, let us pray for the extinction of flashback episodes. See you guys next week where I'll either review the next episode of Black Clover that actually has new content, or I'll go into a hysterical rage over another flashback episode. I'm gonna become the Weeaboo King!